previous chapters where we discuss about, discuss about about twin defect transistors. Twin defect transistors are called unipolar because only majority carriers take part in conduction. Next, these are less noisy device as compared to as compared to BJP due to the absence of minority charge carriers. Like BJT, FPTs also have a common application that is it can be used as an amplifier. A major difference between BJT and FPT is their input impedance RI. Input impedance RI for FPT is very high. We will discuss about this input impedance for different transistors. And one more advantage FPT have over BJT that thermal stability thermal stability of FPT is better than BJT. BJT is uh, in BJT uh, is large risk of uh, uh, damage due to heat, but in FPT this is not possible. Now we will see classification of twin defect transistors FPTs. FPTs are uh, divided into two categories. One is Junction field effect transistor, junction FPT or sometimes called JFPT. And second type is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors. Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, also called MOSFET or Sometimes called IG fit means insulated gate field effect transistor. In JFT, there are three terminals source, drain, and gate. While in MOSFETs, there are four terminals source, drain, gate, and one more additional terminal that is body. Junction field effect transistor have their input impedance in the range 10 to the power 6 to 10 to the power 8 ohms while MOSFETs have their input impedance in the range 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power 15 ohms. Junction field effect transistors are divided into two types that is n channel JFPT and P channel JFPT. While MOSFETs are divided into two types and depletion MOSFET and the other is enhancement MOSFET. Depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET has a basic difference between them is the channel 
टू बिच चार्ज करेंगे सोलर फ्लो इस चैनल इज डिफ्यूज ड्यूरिंग फैब्रिकेशन इन रिफ्रेशन टाइप ऑफ मीन्स फ्रॉम द beginning itself channel will be there in depletion type mosfet while in enhancement type mosfet channel will be induced during operation if proper biasing is given to the enhancement type mosfet then on the channel will induce and device will turn up one more difference between depletion mosfet and enhancement type mosfet is that depletion type mosfet can operate in depletion and enhancement mode both while enhancement type mosfet can operate in enhancement mode only enhancement mode only by the depletion type mosfet can operate in both the modes it is further divided into n channel p channel it is further divided into n channel Now we will first discuss about junction field level transistor J F A T. In junction field effect transistor, there will be n type silicon, and it may be p type silicon, can be p type silicon, and in this n type silicon, we will diffuse two p type materials, and these two p type materials. Will be connected together and will form gate terminal for the MOSFET for the gate. This terminal will be used as a source for this density, and this terminal will be used as a drain for this gate. the length of this region the pin raised to gate is called length l of the channel this particular region will be called as channel from this region n type region majority charge carries electrons will be flowing and this region is called channel and this is called the pop channel so now i will define some definitions or uh, some terminologies first source 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 is the terminal which will supply majority charge carriers to the channel the flowing from source to ground so source is the terminal which supplies supplies majority charge carriers majority carriers to the channel 
नंबर टू ड्रेन ड्रेन इज द टर्मिनल विच विल कलेक्ट द मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स फ्रॉम द चैनल नाउ ड्रेन इज द टर्मिनल थ्रू विच majority carriers will be leaving the channel so from this then terminal the majority charge carriers will leave the channel the third terminal is gate terminal gate is the terminal which controls flow of majority carriers from source to drain so this gate terminal will be will be controlling the charge carrier flow from source to drain now we will see the operation of J F T. Suppose this is n-type semiconductor and we have two p-type semiconductors, which are highly doped as compared to n-type region. And by shorting these two p-plus semiconductors, we get a great terminal of this J. Now we will bias this. J F T. Gate will be gate <coughs> will be biased at lower potential with respect to source terminal, so that it is ensured that gate to source is reverse biased. So this battery V G G ensures that gate to source is reverse biased. This voltage, gate to source voltage, VGS will be always negative for this JFT. And drain terminal is biased at higher potential with respect to source terminal. This battery VDD will be responsible for the current flow in the device. According to the terminal of battery, there will be a field in the channel in this direction. Let me explain. This field is basically responsible for for the flow of charge carriers in the channel. Now, the voltage between drain and source terminal will be defined as vds drain to source voltage and if majority charge carriers are supplied by the source means electrons are supplied by the source these electrons will be leaving the uh, channel from the drain terminal means electrons will flow in this direction and the drain current id will be in opposite direction id while gate terminal will be to this ig as this battery is ensuring gate to source is reverse bias so in reverse bias pn junction the current is very less and we will now consider this gate current ig equal to zero volt 
Now, this voltage of VGG, for example, it is at some voltage minus 2 volt because with respect to source it is negative and source is grounded means it is at a zero potential and with respect to source drain is biased at higher potential means it is somewhat at plus 5 volt. If we see P type material is at negative potential, N type material is at positive potential means this is a reverse bias junction. Between drain to drain and gate there is reverse biasing and also if we see P type material is at minus 2 volt and N type material is at zero potential. So there is reverse biasing between gate and source also. But there is difference in the reverse biasing. If we see the difference here, yeah, the voltage difference is around 7 volt and the voltage difference here is 2 volt. So now I can say that the reverse biasing between gate and drain is uh, more than reverse biasing of gate to source. So the depletion there now we will draw as P type region, gate type, gate region is highly doped, the depletion layer in this region will be very less. Depletion region in this region very less and I am not showing it. N-type region is lightly doped as compared to P plus region. So the depletion layer can penetrate in this region. And the depletion layer will be like this. Exactly this will be the shape of depletion layer in J. Here the depletion layer width is more because the reverse biasing of gate to drain is more than gate to source. So the depletion layer will penetrate more there. The width of the channel will be less near drain. So we can say that depletion layer width is more towards drain end and width of channel that is region between two depletion layers width of channel is less towards drain end And the shape of shape of the channel is width shape. The channel is has width more towards source end, and as we go towards drain end, the width of channel decreases. Now we will draw the characteristics for the activity. 